thing about these bait fish is that they move in unison and it just creates these flowing waves of light because they reflect the sun and it just it's the movement and you know that's what we're really looking for as motion picture cameramen that beautiful movement in the ocean when it's happening you got to get it you got to get it good because it, it moves fish have tails they swim on and we have no idea where they go that next morning which is completely different um, could have dropped a pin yeah, everybody was quiet. Yeah. When diving in the Caribbean, Feo once chanced upon another spectacular surprise, a mass aggregation of herring on the move. It isn't hard to see why the titanic sperm whale makes an impression, but a tiny herring can make a huge impact as well, especially when it's swimming with millions of other herring. A trumpet fish tries unsuccessfully to capture a single herring from the school. Not to be discouraged, he'll be back. The glinting mirror surface tarpon drift in and out of the herring school, looking every bit the predators they are. The shoal offers the protection of the crowd but inevitably, some will fall into the jaws of the determined tarpon. Herring are one of the most important fish in the sea. They are the main source of food, not just for tarpon, but for literally hundreds of other species. Moving as one, the shoal reacts to intruders. This dazzling show of the herring shoal will continue on day and night until the fish reach new waters. The staggering aggregation appears to attract all sorts of predators and perhaps the merely curious. Drawn to their magnetic energy, others swim in and out of their midst. I just couldn't believe our luck in finding this spot in St. John's. Here, it was one of the great spectacles of nature, an endless river of herring that were streaming by me for hours. And during this time when these fish were streaming by, there was different episodes. Sometimes it was just a constant stream with the tarpon swimming by. 
But when the jacks and tarpon got inside this river, it became electric, exploding in all directions. I stayed there until my very last ounce of air. I just could not leave this most spectacular thing I've ever seen underwater. There is another ocean happening that Feo has long wanted to witness. So, as part of this ocean odyssey, he traveled to Belize and the spawning grounds of Gladden Spit to capture the event on camera. The warm waters of the tropics provide haven for fish of many kinds. Spawning grounds, where fish come together to create the next generation of their species, are particularly important habitats. One of the most spectacular events in nature takes place at Gladden Spit, near Belize. Here, more than 27 species arrive annually to spawn. For a few short months each year, in the days immediately following the full moon, frenetic gatherings of jacks and snappers take place. Sunset triggers activity. As dusk comes on, the fish mingle in groups of increasing intensity. Clouds of sperm mixing with eggs in the haze. There are jacks of all kinds. Horse-eye jacks, crevalli jacks. There are dog snappers and Cubera snappers. All are here for the same purpose. 